Hello there, it's Mary and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the like button so I will know that you like the video and that you like the channel. So yeah, let's start. In today's video, I'll be teaching you some words in Portuguese, especially if you like art supplies that will be for you. Um, yeah, fellow artists. Let's start! Oh, just something that I want to say before starting. Uh, well, uh, yeah, my camera is shaking because I'm not using a tripod. I just decided that I, I wanted to post a video and... Well, I didn't want to put all the lighting and all the camera... Uh, camera... Um, the phone and the tripod and like everything. Just because I want to record the video, so I just decided, no, let's just do it like that. And yeah, I hope this video helps you a lot. Let's start! Okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you is this thing. Like, over there, uh, there is an eraser and under there is a pencil. And I'm going to teach you how is this in Portuguese. Okay, I won't take the eraser off because it's broken. So yeah, I don't want to break it more. So yeah, eraser in Portuguese is borracha. 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 And pencil in Portuguese is Lapis, lapis, lapis. For the following item, I got a paint. This is acrylic paint, and paint in Portuguese is tinta, tinta, tinta. And acrylic is acrílico or acrílica. For acrylic paint, we use. Tinta acrílica. So yeah, this is white. So how do we call white? I I think I taught in another video. White is branco, branco. Okay, so here I have watercolor. Oh, and the paint here is because I was doing my friend's present that I won't be showing this video because. She'll probably watch it, so yeah, I won't show it. Uh, so, watercolor in Portuguese is aquarela. Aquarela. And yeah, uh, you can use watercolor for like those kinds of watercolor or even like the, the paint, you know. Markers. Markers are called marcadores. Marcadores. And just a uh, curiosity, mar means the sea. So yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with it, but yeah, just the name. So marcadores. Marcadores. Markers. This is a highlighter and in Portuguese we call it marca texto. Marca texto. It's just like to mark text or something, just to um, put paint on the line. Yeah. I'm awful with translations, but you got it. See what it what is called? Colored pencils, right? This is lápis de cor in Portuguese. It's like just pen, a uh, pencil with color in Portuguese. So lápis de cor. Cor means color. Lápis means pencil, and de means off. So um, yeah, I just <laughs> got messed up. Uh, it's just lapis de cor. Lapis de cor. Oh, and by the way, this is green. Green in Portuguese is verde. 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 
verde. But when we are speaking, we tend to like change the sound of the e in the end, and we just say verde. But the correct is verde. But no one speaks like that in, in here. Actually, maybe in the extreme south, but yeah, normally we just uh, change the sound in the end. This is a paintbrush, or you could just call it brush. In Portuguese, we call it pincel. Pincel. Okay, this is my sketchbook, and I won't be showing the, the pages that I wrote or draw on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you can call it sketchbook or you can just call it like a normal um, notebook. So notebook in Portuguese is caderno, 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 the sun is going out and yeah, this is the last one. Uh, this is called pen in English, and in Portuguese, this is called caneta. Caneta. Yeah, you can use it for these ones as well that you use for the art. Uh, we call it caneta nanking. It's like nanking, a uh, pen or something. Uh, yeah, we just call it Caneta Nanking. I think that was it for this video and I really hope it helped a lot for you guys and for you that are artists. Please tell me what I forgot because I think I forgot a lot of words and yeah, just like message down below and I will see it and make another video and if you guys like it I can make a part two of this video and yeah tell me about your favorite art supplies I mostly uh, work with markers I work with um, watercolor and yeah colored pencils I don't really use much of other medium but I do have them here and if you guys want to, uh, to make a, uh, for me to make a part 2 of this video just leave a message down below and uh, telling what I forgot and I'll sure, surely bring another video to you guys so see you soon, bye! don't forget to subscribe down below